So today we are working on our Conestoga cabinets. This particular system, if you want to follow my hand, has rear mount drawer slide brackets. Galen brought up, hey, I need to tighten this up. And I said, before we do that, let's talk about some of the details about that. What's great about these rear mount drawer slide brackets is you put one mounting screw in front here to hold the slide in into the face frame if it's overlay, which is what we're doing. When I say overlay, that means that the front overlays the face of the cabinet. If it's inset, we have a separate bracket that allows this to be put behind, but that's a separate video and a separate time. What I want to show back here, Chris, when you're ready, is that this floats in the rear bracket, which is great. So you see how that floats? That's actually to our benefit because as that drawer pushes in, it'll kind of self-center. And so if these were fixed to the cabinet side and they were out of parallel, it wouldn't self-center and it would bind up. So it's kind of like a, a shock absorber uh, for, for a certain sense. So that's one of the basics. The other basic is that we want to get the height just right. And Galen, do you have the drawer box for this? I will do that one. Yeah. Okay. And to get the height just right, we would take our tape measure and we'd measure from the floor of the cabinet, the interior floor of the cabinet. That looks like 22 and one half, which is standard. And I know we don't have everything here, so I'm going to just gingerly give this demonstration. Oh, too big. I think this is the wrong drawer. Anyway, the this is cabinet 1.02. You can also hear how I'm calling out the cabinet numbers, so what, that way we know what drawers go with each each one. That's okay. That's great. Let's, we'll make a clear in a clear visual demonstration of this. So, Chris, when I come down here, what I want to show is, is the pro and con of this, and I'm going to use this as a straight edge. So, why don't you come in, Chris, so the audience can see over top of the drawer, and then Janelle, make sure you can see what's going on here too. So, if we install the drawer box incorrectly and it's too high, to exaggerate, the drawer front would be hitting on the bottom and gapped on the top. If we install it, you know, too high or too high in the back, and if we install it too high in the front, it's the opposite, and that it doesn't it doesn't fit in plane so all the drawer fronts would be rippled in different directions so there's a very key basic to doing this that's important and that's making sure that this rear height is is correct and so when galen said hey i need to reinforce this tighten this up I, that's where my little red flags went off i said hey i want to make sure that we explain this to anybody that is watching so that we know when, when you set these the correct way, then you then you can be successful in leveling your drawers. Um, these drawer slides come with a rear bracket. So uh, again, hand me that drawer. And we'll use this as a demonstration here. So when you raise this up, What that's done here, what, let me just try and flip it this way. Chris, why don't you focus on the dovetail there? Do you see how much gap is between there, right? When I adjust this down the other way, see how that dovetail disappears? So what I'm doing is, is I'm raising or lowering the back of the drawer. These drawer slides come preset at zero. They only allow you to raise it up. So, the standard we're establishing right now today is that all rear mount brackets should be no higher than flush. If anything, they should be a smidge in the lower. And a smidge is not a clear descriptor. I would say probably a sixteenth lower at the max. And that way, the thickness of the metal and everything, when it interacts, so that way, if if this back is lower by a 16th, I can raise the drawer to be square with the front. If it was set too high, the only thing I could do is raise the front of the drawer, but it doesn't give me that flexibility. So 
That's the standard I wanted to communicate. All rear mount brackets should be flush or lower a 16th. So you're measuring that rail across the front to see how high yes, that sir. is from the bottom. Yep. And that's what you want your back. Yep. And so I come in here, make sure my tape measure is straight up and down. I'm on. Chris, why don't you zoom in, look at the where the tape measure is. I'm not on the face frame. I'm on the plywood. There's a 32nd of an inch lip there, mm -hmm. roughly speaking. And I'm looking at that and going, yeah, that's 22 and a half. So I want a 22 and a half inch spacer. Now, you would put that, you would start at the top and work your way down, right. and which you were, but obviously this was loose. Mm -hmm. So I can put my tape back here and go, yep, right now with the screws at the bottom, I'm 22 and, and 7 16 to the top of this. So that should be good. Okay. So to answer the question that originally drew this all up, we don't want to push this up all the way because then we would be above and then we couldn't adjust it down. So recap, we're talking about our Conestoga cabinets. We're talking about installing rear mount drawer slide brackets. That would those work with inset or overlay. In this particular instance, we're working on overlay cabinet fronts. And we also mentioned how we can adjust the back of the drawer so we can get the drawer to be correct in its orientation and true to the front of the cabinet. Thanks for watching.